My name is Coach Leanne Claire, and I believe that life isn't supposed to be easy. I believe that life is supposed to be a challenge. I believe that life is full of like really, really hard challenges and really small challenges, but they're all for a purpose. They're all for a reason to help grow you and strengthen you. And I get really geeked out. I think it's really cool to like look at a challenge, take it for what it is, and go in and tackle it. Really figure out the best way to go about getting the best result out of it. I don't care what it is. It could be something so devastating to your life, to your career, but it happened for a reason. There's a purpose behind it. I'm a full believer that there's a purpose behind every little tiny single action that happens in your day-to-day -day life. But reflecting on it is what's going to get you to the point of making the most of your life and growing to the, your biggest capability, your biggest capacity. You know, my story really begins back when I was going to college. I actually remember back in fourth grade, I've been working so hard for a nine to five job since the fourth grade. You know, I got to get good grades here so I can go to middle school, so I can go to high school and college, like do all really great classes. And, I remember having that thought I in fourth grade. I had been working for a good nine to five job. I couldn't wait for the adult life where I wasn't working towards anything anymore and I was just stagnant. And I just got to the point and then I, that was it. I didn't have to work super hard anymore. I was like, I'm gonna put in the hard work now and then do it later. Three months, you know, I graduated early with a 3.8 GPA and I graduated with a job with three internships under my belt. So according to society, I was well above the standard, well above what I was supposed to be doing for the age that I was at, only to find out three months later into my job that I was absolutely miserable. So imagine like spending your entire life working towards something and then getting there and realizing, oh, hot dang, I don't like this at all. And so what it ended up doing is it put me in this spot where I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I did want to do some sort of motivational speaking. I wanted to help people. I had this, this, this drive to serve other people and help them grow their faith or grow their belief in themselves. I didn't know what that looked like at all and I didn't know what it was, but I quit anyway because I was absolutely miserable. I wasn't helping a single person and I wanted to be around people who wanted to be excited about life. I didn't want to just do the mundane, go in, work, get out, go to sleep, do the same thing over again. I wanted life to be invigorating and I had finally gotten rid of that thought that, you know, life was about working hard right now and then just moseying through the rest of the time, just getting to a specific point and then that's it. I really wanted to embrace life in a way that it was just continual growth, that new challenges always, always came in and I would always get better and that new opportunities would always show up and I, it's okay that I don't know where I'm going, but I'm moving, I'm moving in a direction. A few months before I graduated, actually a, a couple of really just big turning points happened in my life and one of them was, you know, I found Jesus Christ. I figured out that I needed him in my life. I had no clue whether I was going to heaven or not. I had hoped I was going to heaven, but I really didn't know. And it was watching a movie that actually was supposed to diss Christianity. And it actually led me to Christianity. And it was just outstanding to see that something that was intended for bad ended up being for good in my life. Really cool. <laughs> so that happened. I got saved. And that sparked, you know, so many beautiful things in my life. A different way of living. A different way of looking at life. And then around the same time, I actually started getting, getting my fitness together, getting my health together. I'd always been an athlete growing up, and I'd been at this point where I was just very comfortable in my relationship, and we went out to eat all the time, and I allowed myself to gain over 40 pounds. My body is what holds my soul, it holds my personality, it holds who I am, and it holds the ability to go out and manifest beautiful things in the world. I was at the biggest I ever was, and I just, I was an athlete, so I was not feeling it. <laughs> So I went in and I took care of it and I've just become absolutely obsessed with figuring out how the body works, how the body functions, how can I utilize working on my health to be vibrant, to be energetic and to really live the most, most of the life that I can live. I believe everybody has it in them to run perfectly and smoothly. You have to take care of it. And yes, sicknesses happen and stuff like that, but what about the people who don't have sicknesses? What about the people who have full capability to be able to take care of their body and they just don't? And I think it's just because they've never reflected on how they could feel. They've never been told how they could feel. They've never been told about the possibility of 
being able to feel vibrant, amazing, and excited about life and about, you know, grabbing the reins of life and like going in and diving in and just, <laughs> just rocking it out. Oh, I believe that everybody's beautiful in some sort of way. Everybody's beautiful, but everybody just gets damaged and hurt by other people and experiences in their life and just they, they grab onto the story. I believe that people grab onto their stories, they get they marry these stories and then, then the story is like kind of an excuse for their behavior. Because they start to get really comfortable in in emotions like anger or stress or anxiety and they've lived that way for so long that they don't know what life could be like without it. So they've attached their story to who they are and their identity rather than really thinking back to the other parts of that story that were beautiful. Making money, making a living, making some sort of impact in our own lives that we just kind of lost touch of who we really are and how amazing our bodies can feel and how amazing we can feel and how awesome of a life we can live just by being ourselves and loving who we are. So I believe that like everybody's like this line that just kind of forgot how to roar. I believe that growing is a huge part of life. Constantly growing and pushing and getting better than you were yesterday and stronger, more in tune with who you are, more loving to yourself. I think there's an incredible opportunity to like go and rewrite the story. I believe that your past is only so strong and your future can be even stronger, but you have to manifest that, you have to vision. You know, without, without a vision, the people perish. So I don't want to perish. Heck no, I'm going to visualize like crazy. <laughs> and I'm going to encourage other people to do the same. Everybody deserves to know what it's like to love themselves. I believe that if you want to gain more knowledge, you need to go out and gain more knowledge. If you want to go do anything in your life, go and learn about it. There's so many different sources out there. You do not need to take the traditional route. I believe that there's many different routes to get to the same outcome. And whatever route you take needs to be one that aligns with who you are and what you enjoy doing. It's not about happiness. It's about living in a state of joy. I believe that the world makes it super easy to feel bad and we just take that as like the norm. You know, we take it as the norm that we're supposed to be stressed, we're supposed to be going crazy and running around and not living life. And it's just the norm. So we look around and we see that we're doing the same things and we just think our life is okay. I believe that your creator, that God, created you for some sort of purpose. Created everybody for some sort of purpose. And you might not know what it is, but you better spend some time trying to figure it out. <laughs> I think figuring it out, figuring out and, and really just loving yourself and getting in tune with yourself and just embracing the gifts that God gave you as a person, I think that's one of the coolest things that you could do. Really growing in that area and getting really souped and excited about <laughs> the different things that you want to do in your life and just experiencing, taking it all in, not being worried or anxious, not spending time in that place.